Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it was the second Tuesday of the month, yesterday in my region, which was the 12th of July. And that means it's time for the Patch Tuesday updates to start rolling out again for both Windows 10 and 11. And Microsoft has started rolling out the security update KB5015807, also called a B-release update for Windows 10 for the month of July 2022. And the Patch Tuesday updates roll out on the second Tuesday of every month. And this latest update uh, is for Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1 and Windows Server 20H2. Now, the updates for Patch Tuesday, as many of you know, are compulsory mandatory updates. So they will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And to see if you have the update after your uh, device has restarted, uh, if this would be of interest, you can just find the update under Quality Updates. Cumulative update for Windows 10 KB5015807. Now, the Patch Tuesday updates are mainly uh, security updates, which roll out important security updates to address numerous vulnerabilities in the Windows 10 and in the Windows 11 operating system. And um, they do list one fix for PowerShell, though, in the release notes. And Microsoft says that the update addresses an issue that redirects the PowerShell command output so that transcript logs do not contain any content. Transcript logs might contain decrypted passwords if you turn PowerShell login on. Consequently, the transcript logs lose the decrypted passwords. So that's been addressed, that issue, with this update, um, 5015807. So um, as mentioned, they are security issues that have been addressed with this update. And um, if you didn't install the optional update that um, rolled out near the end of last month, June, which was the C-release update for Windows 10, KB5014666, uh, the security update that rolled out for Patch Tuesday will include um, um, the most of those improvements that were part of update 5014666. And just to mention some of those in case you did not install the update, which I did post in a video, which I will leave a link in the description down below in case you missed that one. Uh, 5014666 had a couple of new features. It had an important Wi-Fi hotspot fix and other bug fixes. It also had uh, and included a fix for the Cloud Clipboard Service Sync, um, new print and scan features, and also improvements and numerous fixes and i'll leave a link to that video in the description as mentioned and if you didn't install the update at the end of last month june then most of those improvements will be rolled out and bundled with this latest update 5015807 now as mentioned uh, it is mainly a security update and those uh, security issues that have been addressed um, in total include 43 vulnerabilities that have been addressed with this latest update. Um, 41 are important security issues that have been fixed and two are critical. So that's your highest rated vulnerability. So this is an important security update that is rolled out for Windows 10. And just to mention those two critical uh, vulnerabilities that have been addressed. The first is a remote procedure call runtime remote code execution vulnerability listed as CVE 20222038. And the second is a Windows graphics component remote code execution vulnerability listed as CVE 20223021. So as mentioned, 43 vulnerabilities have been addressed with this latest Patch Tuesday update, KB5015807, two of which are critical. So um, it's an important security update just to keep your Windows 10 operating system safe and secure. And for whatever reason, if you're having any issues um, installing the update through Windows Update, you can always just head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog, enter the KB into the search, and then just find your version of Windows 10, and then you can download and install the update manually, which will normally help any issues if it's not installing uh, through uh, the Windows update process. And I will leave, also leave a link to this update catalog in the description down below if you are interested. And um, once you have applied the update, um, if you just head over to Winver, uh, your, if you are running Windows 10 version 21H2, your OS build will now be sitting on 19044. 0.1826. So that's it. That's the latest security update now that is rolled out for Windows 10 for the month of July, KB5015807. So thanks for watching 
and I will see you in the next one.